Hi, and welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video on using these flimsy trays I bought. Um, just this video, I was kind of complaining about them. I think I come up with a hack that allows us to use them, still get water to our plants and support them. I was sitting there thinking last night after using rocks and pebbles and different things, I thought it might hinder bottom watering. So I'm gonna show you a simple little trick Scrap PVC I had laying around seems to work perfect. So when I was talking about it, seeing them when you put soil in, they kind of bit kind of bow down in the middle. And I was noticing on one of the first couple I did that these cells in here stayed really dark while it was drying out here, just cause these were down in the water absorbing more and these weren't getting any. So I thought about it a little bit and scrap PVC. Get the clean in. We'll cut about about an inch and a half. There's actually one inch between the bottom of the cell packs and the bottom of the tray. But we take this, turn this over. These, I got a couple already did, done. Kind of pop down on there like that. So another one. And now, I go in there. We're supported in the middle. It does kind of squeeze up the cell pack a little bit, but they're only in here for germination. It's only a short period of time before I'm going to transplant them. And the six packs fit perfectly in here. So I hope that helps. A way to use these little cheap, cheap flimsy 72 cell packs. My next problem is... The next problem I have is this week we're getting ready to see the coldest weather we've had since the early 80s, or extended period of cold, let's say that. This weekend's gonna be low of zero and high of 17 both days. So I'll do a video, I've done some things to try to help this little hoop house maintain heat. I got a little propane heater in here now, and an electric heater. And it's 64 in here with just the propane heater going, but I know that's not, not sure it's gonna be enough. The little plasma greenhouse heater it keeps it 15 degrees or so above ambient that's about it and when it's zero 15 is not going to be enough and nothing in here that i'm worried about right now i'm just trying to experiment to find out what i can do and what i can get away with in the winter here 